Okay, here we're going to explain how to play the public goods game. We're going to use this game to draw parallels between animal farm and evolutionary theory. The game involves four players, you and three other players. And you're going to be making an investment decision. So every player will receive a certain amount of money at the, at the beginning of each round, $20. And you'll have to decide how much of that $20 do you want to invest to what we'll call the, the group pot, or the central pot of money. Each player will make a similar investment decision. Everybody starts with $20, and you decide how much you're going to invest from 0 to $20. Now, why would one invest in this uh, uh, opportunity here? Here's what happens to the money that is invested. It gets doubled, gets multiplied, and then it gets equally shared among the four participants. Right. So depending on how each player invests, it might uh, increase your bank account. You might make money if everybody invests a lot of money into the group total because it's being uh, multiplied here. On the other hand, if these players make different types of decisions, that will affect the uh, investment return for each of the players. So for the individual, you'll start with 20 and you're going to decide to make some kind of investment and then you'll be getting an investment return. And of course, from your individual selfish point of view, you're going to want to make money as you play this game. So you're going to hope that your investment return will leave you with a bank account that's bigger than $20. Now, the key to this game, though, in the first set of rounds that we'll play this, is that the players may not communicate with each other at all. And in fact, each investment decision by each player is in secret. So we're going to have you write down your investment from 0 to 20 in a way, and everybody else does the same, in a way that nobody can know who invested what. And whatever that number is, it gets multiplied and then distributed equally, and then each person then determines whether they made money or lost money for each round. Now to see how self-interest can be pitted against group interest, it's helpful to take a look at some sample calculations. Here's, gonna, here's our scorecard, and this is where you'll record 10 rounds of play. Each round you start with $20. Uh, we'll have a column here for the amount of money you decide to invest for each round. So if we're in round one, you'll have 20. How much of that $20 are you going to invest in the public pot? The group total is simply the total amount invested by all four players. Investment return is calculated by this formula up here. We double the group total and then we divide by the number of players. There will be four players. So you see here's the group total times two and then you distribute that money equally. And then the, so that uh, the money you get back then is called the investment return. And then you calculate your new bank account. Your new bank account is calculated by taking whatever your initial allocation was, $20, subtracting the invested amount, subtract whatever that number was, and then add to that your investment return. That'll give you your new bank account. If it's greater than 20, you made money. If it's less than 20, you lost money. So let's take a look at how uh, you might play this uh, game with different strategies and how the, the play of other players affects your overall performance. Let's suppose in round one you start with 20 and you decide to invest $20. Unbeknownst to you, at the same, you know, because you can't communicate, as it happens in this first round, everybody decides to invest the full amount, $20. So when four people are investing $20, that's going to be $80 in the group total. The $80 then is going to be doubled and then divided by 4 and that will give you $40. So the 80 times 2 is 160 divided by 4 players is going to be $40. So your investment return is $40. So you invested 20 but you, the investment return was 40. So to calculate your new account so it's your initial allocation minus your investment. So in this case, 20 minus 20 is 0 plus the 40 for the investment return. That leaves you with a bank account of 40, which is $20 more than you started with. So that was a very good outcome for you in round one. But notice, that was in a situation where everybody else also invested the full amount. And remember, you cannot talk to the players in the game. 
and neither does anybody know who's investing how much. Well, suppose you invest 10, and it so happens that the other three players also invest 10. That would give you a group total of 40. 40 times 2 is 80, divided by 4 is 20. So your new bank account is going to be 30. right? So 20 minus the investment of 10. So 20 minus 10 plus 20 is going to be 30. Suppose you invest 10 and everybody else invests 0. In that situation, uh, the group total is just whatever you invested. 10 times 2 is 20, divided by 4 is 5. So your resulting bank account is 20 minus 10, right? So that's 10 plus 5 gives you 15. Notice the 15 is less than the 20 you started with. You lost on that round. Notice you lost because you invested in the public uh, pot, in the public good, but nobody else did. And so they made money, and you lost money. Well, everybody can play that game as well. You might decide to invest zero into the public pot, whereas everybody else invests $10. So the group total is 30. 30 times 2 is 60. 60 divided by 4 players is 15. So notice here, you start with 20. You invested zero. 20 minus zero is 20, plus the return on investment is 15 final bank account 35. 35 is a nice uh, return. You started with 20. Notice then, so you invested nothing. Those folks invested something. You made a good return on your investment. They are going to be uh, having a loss. So it's, it's a game then that pits your self-interest versus, in a sense, the interest of the group. There is a public interest in everybody cooperating, right? Uh, then the return on investment can be high. But there's going to be a temptation for individuals to invest less to what economists call be free riders. They're going to reduce their investment. And if everybody else continues to invest at a high level, that will uh, increase their rate of return. So they will benefit individually at the expense of the group. So it's a game that pits self-interest versus group interest. And the key for the first uh, stage of the game for these first 10 rounds is we will not allow any communication and all investments will be secret. And what we want to uh, see is uh, what happens to, uh, to investments over time. As you have to make a decision uh, about investing uh, round after round based on what you're seeing is the uh, cooperation from the other players in the game.